So quite a few of you have asked how I get my curly hair. And I suppose for years and years and years and years, I have been blow drying the hell out of my hair. Um, actually forgetting that it will do this naturally if I just leave it alone. So some days I have straight hair days and I have blow dry days and sometimes I have curly days. And to be honest, now I probably have a lot more curly days than I ever did because for years and years, and I really mean this and I can't believe this, that I actually, I don't think I actually knew how to make this happen. Because although it is natural, it's only natural if you do the right thing. Now I've got not curly curly hair, I've got wavy hair. I think in the 70s it was known as the beach comber look. Um, it's obviously layered, so there's not a huge amount of weight in it, which does help. Um, but I can only get this look if I, it sounds silly really, I don't do too much to it. I have for years been doing all the wrong things, I've been combing it and I would tend to say to you, oh I've got woolly wild hair and I actually think a lot of people have got this hair but you don't know how to deal with it. In fact, I was at a concert only two nights ago and I saw this lady and I thought you have my hair but it's looking all frizzy and, and, it, and if you did it like this it wouldn't do and I wanted to go up to her but I thought no that was really really cheeky so I decided not to. Anyway. I'm going to show you how I do it and just maybe you'll be able to do the same and achieve this because I reckon if you've got enough of a kink in your hair, you probably can. And this is how I do it. So the key to it is actually don't do a huge amount. So in the shower, I wash my hair and my normal shampoo, I put just a tiny bit of conditioner. I tend not to use a lot of conditioner. And then with this, wide tooth comb. I combed it in the shower and then I did nothing. I got out of the shower, obviously got dressed and I just literally pushed it back and I've left it and whatever you do don't be tempted to comb it again. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Only with my fingers and I've just sort of loosened it like that with my fingers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to have a cup of coffee, do a few other things, check my Instagram, and then I'm going to come back to it. But really, I'm not going to fiddle. If I do fiddle, this is what I do. Just if I'm in a rush and I, and I just want to push the curls up a little bit. I get a towel and I literally just go like that. But what I'm trying to do is by not disturbing it too much, you can see that it's, it's going into clumps and you want it to go into clumps. And occasionally, I'll just sort of go like that with it. She's just sort of fiddling a few little bits around like that. And sometimes with my fingers, but really not disturbing it, being gentle with it, so gentle with it. I don't use a diffuser, don't use anything. I do have a diffuser. I have used it to quicken the process up, but to be honest, this is still the best way the nothing way. That's it. So I'm going to leave it now. And in about 10, 15 minutes, I'm going to come back to you and we'll see how it's getting on. So, had a cup of coffee, answered a few emails. It's starting to dry. Um, so now, this is the thing. I have tried loads of curl enhancers. And they're sort of creamy and I suppose they're there to give moisture to the curl because curly hair needs moisture and um, and to keep those curls together. This is the only one as far as I'm concerned that actually works. It's not too thick, it's not too thin and it just does the job. Uh, a little goes a long way. A tube like this will literally last me for months and months and months. So, I'm going to put a little bit, it's probably only that much in my hand, put it over my hands and then I'm just going to put it just on the ends because what I don't want is I don't want the frizzy ends. So I just, again gently, be really gentle with it, just 
scrunch the ends to stop fizzy ends a little bit you know in and then the other place on my hair probably because it's a bit grey as well is just there I'll just put a little bit of it there but again I, I don't want to disturb the curl process because my hair is not curly 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 it's wavy curly And if I don't do, do this the way I'm, I'm doing it, um, I will just look like a big woolly suds ball and then you have to blow dry it. But it's good. I like the fact I've got the option. I can either have straight hair days or curly hair days. There we go. So it's on, it's on its way now. I actually know now, I haven't really got to worry about it too much. I'm now going to go and back in the lounge, um, make a few calls, work out what I'm going to wear today and it should be more or less sorted and then I'm going to just do a final tweak and go ta-da! And once it's like this, then just to keep it throughout the day, um, I do put just a tiny bit of hairspray in it and um, this is a texture spray uh, by Sam McKnight, as I said to you, and I quite like it. Um, and so I just, again, scrunch it. Like that. Um, in the summer, if it's not windy, it probably stays a little bit longer. It's best if I go to a country that's you know, slightly moist, you know, if you go to somewhere that's got a bit of humidity in the air. Um, and this is how you achieve the wavy hair look. 